I receive a lot of comments from people on my uh, videos saying that they're missing content or presets, or they're wondering why they don't have what they are seeing in my tutorial or other people's tutorials. So in this video, we're gonna take a look at troubleshooting any uh, missing sound sets or content and presets that you may be expecting to see or that you've lost. Someone actually just specifically sent me a comment saying that they lost all of their presets the other day. So. Let's go ahead and dive into this. And the first thing I want to mention is that depending on the version that you're using, you may not have specific content that you're seeing in my videos or other people's videos. So if you go and do a search, let's do compare versions. I just did a search for Studio One compare versions. Let's come to this link here. And then if we scroll down a bit, then you can see exactly what's included with each version of Studio One. So this the subscription service Fear is gonna have everything, absolutely every uh, sound set, instrument, uh, and content that they have. The free version is gonna have had have very limited content. Studio One Artist will have a bit more and Professional will have a bit more. But if we scroll all the way down here, right here to the sample and loop libraries, you can see the subscription service, as I mentioned, is gonna have absolutely everything. This is the free version prime, this is artist, and this is professional. So you can use this chart to see exactly what's included in your version or if you're thinking about upgrading or whatever to find out exactly what you're gonna be getting. Now let's jump into uh, taking troubleshooting missing content. The first place that I would take a look at is, let's come to the Studio One options and then to the Locations tab. Here we have a tab for sound sets, so you can click on that, and you can see the locations that are being used to store your sound sets. So I only have one location set up, even though you can add and remove different locations here. So if I come to this, on my desktop, I have a Quanta Sounds and Samples, Studio Ones, and Presets. I'll go to the desktop, to Quanta, Sounds and Samples, Studio One Sound Sets. So go to the location that is shown here or the multiple locations and check to see if your sound sets are actually there. If they're gone, then one thing that you can do is let's go to this PC and use your finder on the Mac and you can type in dot sound set, press enter for a search, And after that search is completed, you'll then be shown a list of locations that contain the dot sound set, dot sound set file format or folders. So here we can see C program files. This is my desktop location where they're all stored. So these are gonna be the individual sound sets contained within the folders up above. So if you have done something where you accidentally moved a folder, use the search function in Explorer or Finder to help you locate it. Hopefully it wasn't deleted, but you can always re-download that information. So this is another way that you can go about finding your missing uh, content or sound sets. Now we do have one other tool that is available to us and that is the Studio One installation window. So we can click on that to open it up. And then here, this is gonna give you an overview of all of the content that is available for your version of Studio One and give you information on whether it's installed or not, whether Studio One is seeing it. So if we expand out one of these folders here for the instruments, we could see the Presence XT core library. If I expand that out even further, we can see here the status of each of these libraries or instruments. So I only have two out of all of these installed and we can see that in the status area. So this is another method that you can use to help you troubleshoot. If you're missing loop libraries and you think you should have more, then uh, again, open up that folder and you can see I've only got the this one installed. And you could just go ahead and select the ones that are not installed, then choose to install. So you can manually make your selections if you don't want to install everything. There's also a feature up at the top here where you can choose the type of configuration 
So right now we're in custom. We can do a full installation that will install all of the content that's included in our version, our particular version of Studio One. We can do a recommended or minimal installation. So if I were to select the full installation, now keep in mind right now I'm using the uh, subscription service. So that's gonna be a lot. We can see down at the bottom, the space required is 93 gigs. Uh, tells you the time it's gonna take to download and the space available on your hard drive. If we were to choose the recommended, then it's going to give you more information about that and update what is selected down below. But I'm going to come back to the custom. And finally, at the very bottom, we can use the check for available downloads down at the very bottom of this window here. Okay, let's go ahead and close this window out. And I just want to mention that there is Another way that you can download the content included in your version of Studio One, you can also go directly to the Personas website and then go to uh, log into your account and then select products, go to Studio One, and then expand out the bundled content. And then here you can individually select any uh, of the sound sets or content that you would like to install and then just click the download button and then th that's going to be downloaded directly to your computer. And then once they've been downloaded, we can see our sound sets are located here. So we could come to the folder. I'll go to the Quanta sounds and samples and Studio One sound sets. We could drag this in directly to add it. You will need to restart Studio One. Uh, in order for it to recognize them. You could also just double click on the sound set and then that's gonna be installed. You can see that that pops up here now. We can also come back to Studio One. Let's open up our Explore, come to our desktop where that other one was. We can drag this directly onto the Studio One window and then that has been removed from here and it's been installed into our sound set folder here. Now the final thing we'll cover is missing presets and these could be uh, presets from Studio One or user presets. And the thing to keep in mind is that if we come to the Studio One options and let's come to the locations tab, user data, this location is where all of your presets are gonna be stored. And you can see that here, user data location, and that includes our presets. So if we come back to the Explorer window and then choose the desktop, Quanta, Studio One, then we can see presets here. So if we open that up, then we can see this is gonna contain our personas presets, and this will contain our user presets. And I actually only have one here for the color scheme that I've created and saved as a preset. So that's all that I have under the user presets. But if you seem to have lost your presets, then you could do a search for a folder called presets. Just do that up here. Uh, I don't know if the results will be just overwhelming or not, but this is one way that you can check that. And within Studio One, let's cancel there and come to the song. We have the files tab and we can click on this to help manage and access our presets here as well. So be sure that Studio One is selected up above here. Then we have presets. We can expand that out and see the personas impact. That's the default preset. If I come to the user presets, we can see that one color scheme that I have saved here and select that. And when we right click on this, we can choose to rename it, we can delete it, or we can show it in the Explorer. So if you've been having trouble with missing content or managing your content and presets, I hope that this has been helpful for you. Uh, if you're still having issues, just leave me a comment down below and I will try to get back to you uh, with some sort of solution. All right, thanks for watching.